Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Mikhail Tal and Vasily Smyslov. This game was played in former Yugoslavia in 1959. Mikhail Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Vasily Smyslov played c6, white to move. Mikhail Tal played d3. d4 is the standard move. d3 was played. This is not a better move, but this is kind of a surprise move. Unexpected. d5. This is the standard Karokan move. Knight to d2, e5, knight from g to f3, knight to d7, white to move. g3 is the most played move. Tal played d4. A second, a little surprise. It doesn't mean that this is better than g3, but this is a surprise move. Pawn takes pawn on e4, knight takes on e4, e takes on d4, queen takes on d4. Knight on g to f6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, bishop to e7 and pinning. Tal castled queenside and Smyslov castled kingside. Knight to d6, queen to a5, threatening queen to pawn on a2. What would you do about this threat? Bishop to c4 was played. This is what Smyslov was hoping for. And now b5. Bishop to d2, queen to a6, white to move. This is what Smyslov had in mind. If bishop goes to b3, then c5, and black is doing extremely well. And if bishop goes to d3, then again c5, and after bishop takes on b5, queen takes on a2. And black is doing well. Back to our game. So what is the best move for white then? If bishop to d3 is not good and bishop to b3 is not good. Mikhail Tal played knight to f5. Threatening knight takes bishop on e7. Bishop to d8, removing the target. If b takes on c4, then knight takes on e7 check. So, bishop to d8. And the threat by black reminds. After bishop to b3, c5 again, and after bishop to d3, queen takes on a2. Smyslov was quite pleased with his position. Mikhail Tal played queen to h4. This is very much unexpected move. B takes on c4 and Smyslov is a piece up. Queen to g5, threatening checkmate, but Smyslov has knight to h5. This is defending the pawn on g7 and threatening to capture the queen. Why to move? Well, to a normal eye, white is in trouble. How will you continue? Tal played knight to h6 check, king to h8, queen takes on h5, queen takes on a2, threatening queen to a1 check, mate, bishop to c3, knight to f6, again, to a normal eye. It looks like that white is in trouble. For example, the best move that normal person can find here is queen to e5 and then bishop to e6. And black is even tiny bit better, well, against a normal player. Back to our game. In this position, there was a surprise of epic proportions. Maybe to those that don't know Tal. But those that knew Tal, they thought it was a normal move. Well, would you like to pause and find the best move for white? Hmm? Would you like to waste 
10 seconds. No? Okay, I will show you the move then. The move is, believe it or not, queen to f7 check. Well, Smithsel wasn't sure if he was seeing okay. He checked his glasses. His glasses were clean. He thought maybe Tal had too much vodka. And he looked at Tal. And Tal looked soba. So he realized something is going on here. And he checked the variation. Well, you got to check first if you can take the queen. If rook takes on f7, then rook to d8 check. And after rook to f8, rook takes rook check, knight to g8, rook takes on g8 check mate. However, Smyslow wasn't worried because he had a saving move. So he thought, queen to a1 check. And after king to d8, this is the move that Tal played, there is no rook takes bishop anymore. So he grabbed the queen. Did Tal miss something in his calculations? Well, the game continued. Knight takes on f7 check. King to g8. And now Tal played an ordinary move. Sometimes Tal played ordinary moves. Rook takes queen. King takes on f7. Knight to e5 check. King to e6. Knight takes on c6. Knight to e4 check. King to e3. Bishop to b6 check. Tal played a move and Smyslov resigned. Bishop to d4. Smyslov resigned. Maybe he was also low on time, but he was surely exhausted from defending against impossible moves that drained all his energy. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.